Hey, how's it going? Welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm going to be going over if the CompTIA Server Plus is really a good certification and if it's worth getting um, if you're starting your IT career or trying to get into server administration. So if you're interested in that, make sure to watch this video till the end. Hit that like button and subscribe if you do enjoy these videos. 95% of you guys are not subscribed, so do so if you do enjoy. I also have a Discord server. I'm going to link it down below, jamesy.live slash discord i'm cre i created a community of people who are studying for certifications trying to get into it cybersecurity. so if you guys so you guys could help each other out things like that and yeah so let's get right into it so the comptia server plus is pretty much what's in, in in the name it is a server administration certification it's vendor neutral about sixty thousand people have this certification uh comptia recommends you take the a plus before you get the server plus um, there's, it costs $369, um, $178 if you're a student, so you get about half off the price. Um, but by CompTIA, the exam description is Server Plus validates the hands-on skills of an IT professional who install, manages, and troubleshoots server and data centers as well as on-premise and hybrid environments. So it goes over pretty much anything to do with servers, whether it's in a data center, on-site, or hybrid, or in the cloud. Um, it has 90 questions. Uh, it's multiple choice performance based questions, just like every other CompTIA exam. Um, the passing score is a 750 out of 900, just like most of the other CompTIA exams. I took this exam for a couple simple reasons. My high school had a uh, pretty much in, they're involved with the competition called Business Professionals of America, pretty much a student organization that uh, helps students uh, compete pretty much in uh, IT field, uh, IT field, business field, all kinds of fields, but server administration using Windows was a topic. And la uh, the year before I won the Cisco event and at the national level. Um, so I wanted to try the uh, Windows server administration. So the reason why I took this exam was to kind of motivate myself to study more server administration with Microsoft. Um, I ended up placing third in the nation, which was pretty cool. Um, so it gave me more motivation to actually uh, win that competition and to study for it which it did help for sure. Um, but along with this, I also took a course on Udemy. I forget who the instructor, but it was a Windows Server 2022 course. So I took that and that was, that was pretty much my study method to take this test along with some practice tests. I did up, end up passing with a 769. It's not the best score, but I did end up passing. Now the main question, is it worth it? In my opinion, not really, um, for the price especially. It's like I said, $370 just about. It is not really asked for by employers very much. I looked on Indeed, there was like out of a thousand, thousands of jobs worldwide, there's maybe like 10 of them that stated the server plus in it. Same thing with LinkedIn. I've almost never seen the server plus mentioned under certification requirements. Not to say that this will not help you, uh, but it's not very in demand uh, according to hiring managers. So while it may help you, it definitely will help, but um, for a lot of jobs, it's not required, so it can be kind of a waste of time and a waste of money. Um, you're better off getting other certifications that have to do with uh, server administration. More specifically, CompTIA kind of has a thing where they're, oh, they're vendor neutral. But in my opinion, if you're studying for server administration, you probably want to go for the more vendor specific certifications, more specifically um, like Linux certifications, like the LPI Linux Essentials, the Test Out Linux certification. Uh, Microsoft Certified Administrator, those are the big ones. Uh, Microsoft has so many server administration certifications. So I would definitely check out Microsoft if you're trying to get into like sysadmin work, things like that. Or even if you're trying to work in like data center uh, roles, maybe like AWS and so same thing with Microsoft, uh, like Azure, for example, that could be a good uh, certification to get if you're trying to get into server administration. Um, uh, there's another one that I have on here. Microsoft Windows Server Hybrid Administrator is one of their certifications. Pretty much you'll take two or three of their exams to bundle it up into one, which is that certification. But pretty much for the price of this exam, you could do up to three exams on like, for example, AWS, the Cloud Practitioner certifications, $100 to take. I think it's about that much. Uh, Microsoft is about 100 to 150 per exam. So you could do two, one, two or three of those exams for the price of this one. And employers will definitely look at it as more of a modern certification. For example, like uh, the Azure certification, a lot of employers will ask for that. But the cloud is kind of where things are moving. And this certification, the Server Plus, doesn't really get, get in too in depth with cloud uh, technologies. It touches up on it a little bit. But the way things are moving, there are not a lot of servers that are actually in the office or like a lot of companies, at least smaller companies, will just pay monthly for a cloud service provider 
to just have them make the server and they manage it pretty much nowadays that's kind of where things are moving because no one wants to spend thousands of dollars on a server nowadays rather than spend oh a few hundred bucks a month per server i'm not sure what the price is but overall cloud-based servers are usually less expensive but there are obviously some risks from having a third party host your servers but that is where things are moving uh nowadays for sure um but the cert definitely is not useless um if you want to study physical server administration definitely go for it um if you want to add this to your resume as like a step up from the A plus, go for it. In my opinion, though, you're probably it's probably more worth your time to go for the other certifications like AWS Cloud Practitioner, AZ 900, AZ 104, or yeah, AZ 104, I think it is. But Microsoft has a ton of vendor specific certifications that have to do with Windows Server Administration that I would personally go for if I were you. And if you want to get into the Linux uh, space, definitely there are some Linux certifications. Not too many I can think of, but. There are definitely some out there um, and I would definitely do that if I were you. So that is pretty much my take on the server plus. So to answer that, I say no, it's usually not worth it depending on your situation, but obviously it's all dependent on how you, how, what your career path is pretty much. So if you think it's worth it, definitely go for it. I'm not saying to not take this exam, but in my opinion, uh, compared to the other exams you could take, probably not, not, not high on my list. So yeah, guys, this is all for today's video. Join my Discord. The link is in the description. Or you can go to jamesy.live slash Discord. We are about to hit 2,000 subscribers, so make sure you hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Um, if you made it to the end, you might as well. Make sure to like the video so it gets uh, promoted more. Thank you guys for watching. This is Jamesy Tech. I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.